This is my five minute barbell warm up. All you need is an empty bar or a very light bar and some small plates. We're gonna do 10 exercises, 30 seconds each with no gaps. First up, we've got some Romanian deadlifts. I'll be giving you technique tips throughout. Let's go. Make sure you initiate the movement by pulling your hips backwards, keeping the bar nice and tight to your body. You can unlock your knees, but you shouldn't be bending your legs too much as you come down. Keep a flat back and keep hinging until you feel your hamstrings reach their maximum length. Keep on going with those Romanian deadlifts, but next up we'll be moving onto a hang high pull. Starting from the hang clean position with the bar just below your knees, you're gonna drive your torso up towards the ceiling, pulling the bar up till it comes just underneath your chest, leading with the elbows and letting the bar fall freely back down to the hips. Keep repeating for the whole 30 seconds, but next we'll be moving onto some external rotations doing 15 seconds per side. Grip the bar with your right hand and hold it loosely with your left hand. Turn that elbow under the bar and bring it as high up as you can, maintaining the bar nice and close to your collarbone. Keep going on this side. And now we're gonna switch to that other side. So the left arm's rotating under and the right arm is gonna hold loose. Keep going. And the next exercise we're gonna move on to is gonna be a barbell overhead strict press. Start with the bar close to your collarbone, your elbows underneath and your wrists straight. Just press the bar up and overhead, making sure you don't lean back. So keep your glutes engaged, your ribs drawn down and make sure you're not overarching your lower back. The next one we'll move on to, you're gonna bring the bar onto your back for a back squat. Make sure the bar is resting on your traps, not on your neck bone. Try and keep your elbows underneath the bar. Bring your hands in as close as possible without it being uncomfortable on your shoulders. You should be squeezing your shoulder blades together and driving your knees out, making sure there's no inward knee collapse. Next, we'll be moving on to a hang power snatch. Take a wide grip on the bar. You're gonna deadlift down until the bar comes just below your knees. You're gonna drive your torso upright, pulling the bar up nice and close to your body. When the bar comes overhead, you're gonna dip under it to receive the bar in a slight squat position. Next, we're gonna do an overhead squat. This is a really challenging one, so just squat as low as you're comfortable with, and you could also put some plates under your heels. Keep that wide grip on the bar, bring the bar overhead, tighten your upper back muscles up, squat down as low as you can without the bar falling forward or your tailbone collapsing under. Don't worry about your range of motion, even if it just looks like a half squat, try getting used to that overhead position. It'll be a great warm up for the shoulders and test for your mobility. Next, we'll be moving onto some alternating leg reverse lunges. Bring the bar down onto your traps, narrow your hand width, and go for those alternating reverse step lunges. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing towards the inside and get a nice low drop on each lunge. You can keep the bar on your back for this next one. We're gonna do some good mornings. If you can get a lower bar position, you might find it even more comfortable. Similar to the Romanian deadlift, instead of leaning forwards, you should imagine you're pulling your hips backwards. You don't want the bar to hang out forwards in front of your toes. If I draw a straight line from the bar down, it should hit you somewhere between your toe and your heel. Keeping your upper back muscles tight and pulled together should help stop any rounding of your back. Next up, we're moving onto some pause push jerks. You're gonna push press the bar overhead, but before it reaches the top, you're gonna drop underneath the bar 
and pause in a quarter squat position. Hold for one to two seconds, stand up straight and then repeat. This is the last exercise in my barbell warm up. And if you've not already planned to do so, why not try one of my follow along barbell workouts from my barbells playlist that I'll link at the end of this video. Make sure you get on one of those workouts, like and subscribe.